Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video we are going to talk about the rank transformation. Till now we have seen the joiner transformation, aggregator transformation, filter transformation and the router transformation in our previous videos. In this video we will talk about the rank transformation. What does a rank transformation do? Rank transformation ranks the records of the source data. So let us say we want to select the records of employees from the employee table with ha who have the top 10 salaries. Or let's say employees are working in different departments and we want to select the employees who have top 3 salaries in every department. So for every department we are going to put a group condition and then we are going to put the rank that how many top number of records that we want to select. Let us see how we do this. So firstly we will go in the database and check our condition of the uh, tables. Uh, this is the source table from where we are going to fetch the records and this is the target table in which we would like to insert the records. Let us quickly clean this target table so that we can load the fresh data in it. Once cleaned, now we go in the designer. We go in the folder that is our working folder. And here we create a new mapping. By the name M underscore employee cell underscore rank. So as usual, we will just drag and drop the employee table which will automatically create a source qualifier here and then we are going to drag and drop the target table and put a rank transformation. Let's give it a name rank trans trn underscore employee salary underscore rank. Now we are going to just link all these columns of the source qualifier to the transformation and once done then we are going to do the grouping, grouping based on the department number and we want to rank. So this column, this particular R column here we are going to select the salary column of the table. We, we will say that this is uh, the column which we based on the uh, based on which we want to select the data, and we are want to group the data based on department number. And how do we want to rank? We want to let's say rank the top three. So this top bottom shows what. Uh, which side we want to select and the number of records that we want to select, the number of ranks that we want to select that we are going to put here. We'll apply it. Okay. And then we will link the transformation to the target table. So our design for mapping for this rank transformation is ready. And now we'll just save it and we'll create a new workflow. As we always do and we will then create a session task.
and we were going to link our recently created MP cell rank mapping. Let us link this and we will go in the mappings tab, set the connection parameters, select the target as oracle target, source as oracle source, apply and save this workflow. Once saved, then we will start the workflow and check the progress in the workflow monitor is showing the status of running and it has succeeded now let's go in the database and check this is the table there where we were expecting the records let us refresh and as we see here for each of the departments the department number 10 the top three salaries of the uh, employee table has uh, got inserted similarly for department 20 top three salaries of uh, employee table and similarly for uh, department 30 since the there was another record which did not have any department number associated the group by clause has taken that department also and the salary figure uh, for that record has also got inserted so this is how we work with rank transformation next we are going to see how to work with sequence generator transformation thank you